Hey everybody, remember that series that I used to do? Weird weapons? Remember that? No, me neither. Alright, let's start. The Claw of Archimedes was an invention by Archimedes to protect Syracuse from incoming ships during the Siege of Syracuse. Because, you know, Syracuse is uh, next to water and stuff, so, you know, ships. There's no proof of it ever actually being used, though. Why not? Because, well, pretty much it's freaking retarded. Now, there are a lot of people that say that it's plausible, people have tested it, people that I cannot specify, because I didn't look it up since I don't care, but apparently people have tested it and it is plausible, technically, for it to work, but that doesn't make it any less retarded of a contraption. Let me explain. The idea of the Claw of Archimedes is you have this thing next to the wall and incoming ships that will come in you would hook your your hook in in the most famous picture it's a claw you know claw of archimedes but usually it's depicted to be a hook on a rope you would attach that to the front of the ship and then lift that up out of the water either flipping it completely and causing it to sink or lift it up far enough so that it can't go anywhere anymore that's the idea i don't know how much horsepower it would take to lift the fucking ship out of the water but you know whatever apparently it's it's, it's apparently it's possible because people have tested it so you know, the siege happened in 214 BC and ships at this time were not that large, but still it's a fucking ship though. Anyway, the first thing is you would of course have to wait for your enemy ships to be close enough for you to be able to attach your hook to them, which is something that could be prevented if you would just build a catapult instead and belt rocks at them. But let's say you, you don't have enough rocks or some shit, and you built the Claw of Archimedes and the ship gets close enough, then you would still have to somehow successfully attach the hook to the front of the ship while the ship is fucking swaying in the water and shit. But let's say you do that, you attach the hook, and all goes well, and then you lift the boat out of the freaking water, which of course is going to be super easy and super quick, it's like a bottle flip challenge, it only takes a second. No, it won't take a second, it will take quite a long time, and by the time that you've actually lifted one ship out of the water, three other ships have landed, and you failed, Archimedes, you failed. And then what? After that you've lifted the ship, let's say, it doesn't matter if you flip it completely or not, you lifted the ship out of the water, then what? You can't unhook the ship. It's still there, the hook is attached to the ship, you lift it up, it flips over, it sinks, and it's still attached to the fucking claw. What are you gonna do, just get rid of the rope completely, just unhook everything? Or are you gonna send somebody over to unhook the hook so you can use the hook again? No, it's, it's a one-use thing, and after the siege you would have to, I, I guess, get rid of all the ships that are still attached to the hooks. So the only way that this would work is if you would cover the entire wall with hooks, so much so that no other ship would fit in between there, Otherwise, it would pretty much fail. And then also, you would have to be successful in every single hookage. I imagine it to be quite a lot like one of those crane games, you know? It all looks very easy, but it never fucking works. Alright, so that's pretty much all I want to say. I urge you to watch another one of my videos, because this video is very short, and I need extra watch time. So you can click the button on the left here to watch the previous Weird Weapons episode, or you can click the button on the right to watch the next one, if there ever will be one, which statistically, compared to my previous video, would be about a year from now that the next one comes out. And thank you for joining my quest, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye, guys.